small businesses. Question number six, the Honourable Amy Adams. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety, why has the government decided to retain 90-day trials for businesses with fewer than 20 employees? The Speaker. Honourable Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The government has decided to retain 90-day trial periods for small businesses because in the context of a bill that restores a range of workers' rights that were stripped away by the previous government, we believe this policy strikes the right balance between the rights of working New Zealanders and the needs of small business. Policy. Does he agree with the Chief Executive of Business New Zealand that the Finance Minister just quoted when he said that the reality was that 90-day trial periods were enabling employers to take chances on, in particular, younger and less experienced workers and give them a shot? Well, Mr Speaker, I certainly respect the views of Mr Hope, but in this case, the evidence that was commissioned by the previous government doesn't really back that statement up. Well, has he read then the MB research report into 90-day trials, which found that a third of employers surveyed said that the 90-day provision has led them to hire people that they otherwise would not have? I certainly have, that, uh, have read that report, and I would note that a lot of the research commissioned by the previous government surveyed the views of employers, but never once asked the views of workers. Oh. Maya Lubit. What have been the reactions of employers and workers to the announcement of the employment law changes? Mr Speaker, both businesses and unions have welcomed the collaborative and constructive approach that this government is taking to industrial relations. The Minister of Finance has already quoted Kirk Hope, so I will quote Chris Lewis from Federated Farmers, who said that, quote, this bill will give farmers renewed confidence. The decision is especially good for small businesses. In light of the information in my previous supplementaries, why does the Minister want younger, inexperienced and vulnerable workers to miss out on opportunities to prove themselves amongst the 70 per cent of New Zealand jobs that will now be excluded from 90-day trials? Mr Speaker, that is simply not the case. There is one robust piece of research into 90-day trials that was commissioned by Treasury and it found that there was absolutely no impact on hiring intentions or on job opportunities for young, vulnerable workers. So under the government's proposed employment law changes, is the minister confident that New Zealand will continue to create new jobs at the rate of at least 10,000 new jobs a month as it has for the past two years? Um, Mr no. Speaker, I am confident that New Zealand will continue to create new jobs at a, at a pace that is reflective of the global economic conditions. Which is very stronger than it was. So in the employment law bill that the member has now tabled in the House, can he confirm whether the 20 employee threshold applies to 20 full-time equivalents, or does it penalise those using job share and part-time arrangements by taking them over the cap? It will apply exactly as it was introduced by the National Party back in 2010. Question number seven, Jan Tanetti. Thank you, Mr Speaker.